Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some bookish accessories with you. And they're basically just things that I enjoy using as someone who likes to read a lot. And if you also like to read or you're getting into reading some more, I hope that you enjoy some of these items and they're perfect for gift giving as well. So I'll link the items in the description box below. But overall, today is going to be a short and sweet video. The first thing I have is this book sleeve. I am obsessed with my book sleeve. I've been using it for a couple years now. My sister gave it to me as a gift, but this particular one is from Etsy. So I'll try to link the exact one with the same seller below, but you can get so many different prints and styles and sizes from so many different small businesses on Etsy and other places as well. So that's the amazing thing. You can get so many different kinds, um, but this is the print that I have and the style that I have. So it has this button enclosure. Other ones will have like a flap um, and it closes with this little string right here. Um, and then I also have pockets in the front. So I really enjoy having that because I can put extra bookmarks or book tabs or sticky notes in here. And then I keep my pencil and some highlighters on the side. Um, but I think this is just such a perfect way to protect your books. I get so annoyed when pages tear or pages bend or the books get wet. So I love to keep them safe in its own little sleeve and I just pop this in my tote and it makes it so much easier because I don't have to worry about messing up my book. Moving on to annotation. I mentioned earlier that I keep a pencil and a highlighter or a couple highlighters in my book sleeve and that's because I really like to underline and highlight specifically for books that have a ton of information. I just think that's the easiest way to annotate and then I'll also write in the margins of the pages if I feel like it, but it really just depends what kind of book it is. But I also really like to use sticky tabs. So I have some right here. I love the colorful ones. These ones are from Daiso. And then these ones I got from my sister. I believe they're from Amazon. I'll try to link these below, but you can get sticky tabs anywhere. You can get it from Target, Walmart, um, and some stationery stores. But I really like these ones too, because. They're just such aesthetic colors, uh, but I like to tab anything that I want to remember or want to revisit, but I also like using these sticky post-it notes. So again, you can get post-it post notes from a lot of different places. These ones were from the Target dollar section. These ones I got quite a while ago, uh, but in case I don't want to write on my actual book, I'll write on the sticky note and then stick it into my book. So that's another way that I like to annotate. Another key accessory that I love to use while reading are bookmarks. So these are all free. I got them with the purchase of a book. So they're all from different bookstores. I love collecting free bookmarks because it shows you all the different bookstores you've been to. I have more at home, but these are the ones that I have with me right now. Um, but I just love the free bookmarks, but you can use pretty much anything as a bookmark. Um, you can use like old business cards or unused stickers. I've used Polaroids before and they all work well as bookmarks. But I also have these bookmarks where you stick them on the top of the page. These ultra thin bookmarks. These are from Daiso. My sister got them for me. And then I also got these magnetic bookmarks that my friend got me and you also stick them on top of the page. I just like to have a physical sort of bookmark because I hate dog earing my books and I also don't like putting a pencil or a pen in there because they often roll out. So a physical one works best for me. Another fun accessory that I love to have are book stamps, specifically personalized book stamps. So I have two. The first one is from Etsy. This one has my full name on it. It says this belongs to my name and at the bottom it says read it, love it, return it. This one has ink in it already so all you need to do is like press down on your book um, and this is what it looks like on a page of a book. So it's super easy. Um, this is what it looks like right here. It has some leaves on the side and then this one I'll link below. It's from the Etsy store stamp by me and it's made in Spain. So that's really cool. And then I also was gifted a book stamp 
I'll link the company down below. This is more of a traditional one where you need an ink pad, but this one says from the library of, and it has my initials and then my full name at the bottom. Um, so this is what it looks like. If you can tell, it has like a shape of a book and it has my initials JP on it. Um, and I love this one as well. Uh, I love both of my bookmarks and you can also get a personalized embosser. I think those are really cool as well. So overall, I just think these make for perfect gifts for someone who likes to read. And it's also really relaxing to stamp all your books. I think it's just as fun as reading in my opinion. So it makes for a nice, perfect little self-care day. You get to stamp all your books and organize all your books. Next, I wanna talk about book lights. So the light that I'm using isn't a portable book light. I literally just use my Himalayan salt lamp. But the main message that I want to convey is that I think it's really important to have a light that you can use that sets the tone that you want. So basically, I like to read before bed and I want to emphasize using lights that aren't too harsh on the eyes, that aren't a blue light. So I like to use my Himalayan salt light, salt lamp, <laughs> because it's a lot softer on the eyes and it sets the tone that I want. I want to be relaxed before I go to sleep so that I can easily fall asleep after reading. So I like to use my Himalayan salt lamp, but one day I hope to just get one of those portable ones that you just clip on your book or that you like wrap around your neck. So I'll link my salt lamp down below. It's from Walmart, but I'll also link options for portable lights down below as well. So I just think overall it's important to read with a light on so that you don't strain your eyes, but it's also important to choose the proper light for the vibe that you want. The last thing I want to share isn't really an accessory. It's more of like a decor and these are bookstore postcards. So they're just postcards that have different bookstores on them and it comes with a hundred. So there's a ton in here as you can see oops um but they're so cute uh you can use them as bookmarks you can give them as gifts you can write letters in the back because they're postcards um this one has a cat on it which is so cute uh but i've given them as gifts before i put them up on my wall and i think the main thing about these is that putting the, them up on my wall motivates me to read some more because it reminds me to read and I just love the way they look. There's so many cool ones, so many different ones with cats as well. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!